Right guys, so this is just going to be a short video looking at next week's marquee matchups. Now there's a lot of big games going on, so that's what we're going to focus on mainly. The reason for this is they seem to give the most profit, with players from big clubs rising by about 2,000 coins a pop. Whereas with the smaller teams, it's very hard to guess them right, and even if you do, sometimes there is a very minimal increase. Now if you remember last week, they also released Champions League marquee matchups, for the European games anyway. I don't feel like they're going to do that again this week, because it's going to be too obvious. Instead, I personally believe they're going to do it for the second legs of these matches. Obviously, you can still invest in these, because there's a chance they might release it this week, but I just don't think EA would be that straightforward. They like to be a bit more secretive. So personally, I'd recommend waiting for the second legs, remembering the teams that weren't picked, and investing in them then. Right guys, so the first match we're going to look at here is going to be the EFL Cup Final. And this takes place next Sunday. It's between Manchester United and Southampton. Now there's a chance that they include this in the marquee matchups, but there's also a small chance that they create their own event or different squad builder challenge around it, or simply a man of the match card. Either way, I feel like this is going to feature at some point over the weekend. Picking up players from these clubs now for discard isn't going to hurt. Right guys, so the second game we're looking at is going to be in the championship. Now this is going to be the East Anglian derby and it's between Ipswich and Norwich. So if we're looking to pick up players from these clubs, we want to be looking to pick them up for discard value. As you can see, most of the golds are incredibly cheap, even the silvers and bronzes. We've got loads of different possibilities and options here and because it's quite a big derby, there's quite a good chance this one may be included. Right guys, so the next match we're going to look at is going to be between Marseille and PSG. Now this derby is known as Le Classique. They're two huge teams, both in Ligue 1, and that just gives it a massive chance to be picked. The derby is absolutely huge, and the players' prices are already fairly expensive. So if we're picking them up now, we're going to ensure we make a huge profit if this one is chosen. Right guys, so this next match isn't a massive derby per se, but it's between two huge clubs in La Liga Santander. We're looking at Atletico Madrid playing against Barcelona. Now these are two of the best teams in the league, and EA have been including matches like this recently, so we have a huge chance of this one as well being included. If we're looking to pick up players now, again, there are some bargains around. If we leave it till the last minute, we're going to be paying a fortune. We want to be the ones that are selling them on for a fortune. So try and pick up a few discards from these two teams as well. Right guys, so the last match we're going to look at in this video is in the Super League. And it's between two massive clubs, Besiktas against Galatasaray. Now, if we have a quick look at the market, you can see that these players are available for discard price. It's a literally no risk investment. What we want to be doing is picking up a few players from all the teams that you believe are going to be in the marquee matchups. And I might have missed some, you may think of some others that have nailed on to be there. But pick them up early, we're looking at picking them up on Monday today and then making huge profit when they're released later in the week. And if not, we're still going to be breaking even, as long as we're smart with who we're buying. Right guys, so if you're still enjoying these marquee matchup videos, and it's something you want me to continue, if you could drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you're new, that'd be absolutely amazing. I'm also going to start tweeting out trading advice based on players when they drop, when they should be picked up. So if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's just down below.